What's the timeline for things to get real weird with AI? And it can get weird in interesting ways before you get to AGI. What about AI girlfriends and boyfriends? Fundamentally transforming human relationships. I think human relationships are already fundamentally transformed and it's already very weird. By which, by which technology? For instance, social media. Yeah. Is it though? Isn't the fundamentals of the core group of humans that affect your life still the same? Your loved ones, family? No, I think that, uh, for instance, many people live in intentional communities right now. Mm -hmm. They're moving around until they find people that they can relate to and they become their family. And often that doesn't work because it turns out that they're instead of having grown networks where you get around with the people that uh, you grew up with, yeah. you uh, have more transactional relationships, you shop around, you have markets for attention and pleasure and relationships. That kills the magic somehow. Why is that? Why is the transactional search uh, for optimizing attention, allocation of attention somehow misses the, the romantic magic of what human relations it's are? It's also the question, how magical was it before? Was it that you just could rely on instincts that uh, used your intuitions and you didn't, didn't need to rationally reflect? Hmm. Uh, but once you understand, uh, it's no longer magical because you actually understand uh, why you were attracted to this person at this age and not to that person at this age and what mm -hmm. the actual considerations were that went on in your mind and what the calculations were about what's the likelihood that you're going to have a sustainable relationship with this person, that this person is not going to leave you for somebody else, mm -hmm. how are your life trajectories are going to, going to evolve and so on. And when you're young, you're unable to explicate all this and you have to rely on intuitions and instincts that in part you were born with mm -hmm. and also on the wisdom of your environment that is going to give you some kind of reflection on your choices. And many of these things are disappearing now because uh, we feel that our parents might have no idea about how we are living and the environments that we grew up in, the cultures that we grew up in, the milieus that um, our parents existed in might have no ability to teach us how to deal with this new world. And for many people, that's actually true. But it doesn't mean that within one generation, we build something that is more magical and more sustainable and more beautiful. Instead, we often end up with an attempt to produce something that uh, looks beautiful. Like, I was very weirded out by the aesthetics of the um, Vision Pro headset by Apple. And not so much because I don't like the technology. I'm very curious about what it's going to be like and have, don't have an opinion yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, the aesthetics uh, of the presentation and so on were so uncanny valley-esque to me. The characters yeah. uh, being extremely plastic, living in some hypothetical um, um, mid-century furniture uh, museum. Yeah. This is... Uh... The proliferation of marketing teams. Yes, but it was a CGI-generated world. Hmm. It was a CGI-generated world that doesn't exist. And when I complained about this, uh, some friends came back to me and said, but these are startup founders. This is uh, what, they have, what they live like in Silicon Valley. And I, I tried to tell them, no, I know lots of people in Silicon Valley. This is not what people are like. Yeah. They're still people. They're still human beings. So the the... The grounding in physical reality somehow is important to... Uh, and culture. And so basically yeah. what's absent in this thing is culture. There is a simulation of culture, an attempt to replace culture by catalog, yeah. by some kind of um, aesthetic optimization that is not the result of having a sustainable life with sustainable human relationships, with houses that work for you and um, a mode of living that works for you in which this product... Um, this, these glasses fit in naturally. And I, I guess that's also why so many people are weirded out about the product because they don't know how is this actually going to fit into my life and into my human relationships because the way in which it was presented in these videos didn't seem to be credible.